What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Mo Creatures mod, and if you don't know what this mod is already, it's a mod that adds a bunch of new mods to my mobs to Minecraft. Um, I think it adds something over about 30 or 40 new mobs to Minecraft, with different variations on how they look. So it adds a crap ton of new mobs to mess around with, and uh, tame, and breed, and all that sort of stuff. So you can already hear them. So here they go. Now they're starting to spawn. I did come through and start spawning them already. Um, just so it would be a lot quicker to find them. So down here we have a horse. Uh, he made his way down here. You can tame these and be able to ride them and breed them and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we have rats. We've got bears. The bears are really cool um, on how they're animated. They stand up and everything like that when you get near them. And then we have the snake. There are a lot of different variations of the snake as well. Um, these are pretty cool. When you get near them, they stand up as well and they start coming like they're about to attack you. And then over here, we've got a turkey. You know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. Catch yourself a turkey, cook it up. Right here, we've got a turtle or a tortoise, and it goes inside its shell when you get close to it. Here is a duck. Um, here's a little bunny rabbit. Let me go ahead and just make it to where it's in the sunrise so we don't run out of daylight. Up here we have a big cat, which is just like a cheetah. Uh, that's just a normal pig. Over here we have some deer. And there was a fox around here somewhere. Um, although so, there are bugs that are added. I believe these are bees. Um, I did not spawn these. These naturally spawned. Um, and here's a little baby bobcat over here and a lion. So the mobs do naturally spawn as well. And then down here we have some shark. So here's a few shark. You can see there's little fish swimming around. As well as some manta ray and stingray. Um, where is the dolphins at? The shark might have... Oh, there's a dolphin. Um, sometimes the sharks will attack the dolphin and kill them. Here's some more fish over here. Actually, a lot more fish. Here's another deer. It must have fallen off the top. So, that's pretty much it. There are a lot more mobs that I'm able to show you. But this is just a brief showing of some of the mobs that this mod adds. So, that is the Mo Creatures mod. Very, very cool mod for what it adds to Minecraft. Um, if you're just tired of the original Minecraft mobs, this is a great mod for you to use, and it'll give you a huge variety of different mobs to mess around with. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archive program, such as WinRAR 7 Zebra Winzip. All these archive programs will relatively work the same exact way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge, GUI API, Custom Mob Spawner, and the Mo Creatures mod itself. So to get these four files, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. All the downloads will be on this page, so if we go ahead and scroll down, we have a little bit of information on the mod in these videos, um, showing you the different new mods that have mobs that have been added. And then we get to down to the download section. Of course, you're going to need to download the mod itself, so if you click on this link right here, it'll bring you to an ad fly. And then, of course, you wait five seconds and clip, click Skip Ad up in the right-hand corner, uh, the big yellow Skip Ad button, and then this will bring you to a media fire, and you go ahead and click on Download. Uh, you also need to download Minecraft Forge. Now, this, you can either go to AdFly or click on Direct. If you click on Direct, it'll download it straight on this page. Uh, the GUI API, as soon as you click on this link, it will automatically download the mod. And for the custom mob spawner, um, it will take you to a media a not a media fire, an ad fly, and then you have to skip ad, and then it will take you to a media fire. Um, so if you haven't used ad fly before, I'll go ahead and show you with the Mo Creatures. So if you click on that link, it'll take us over to this ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds, up in the top right-hand corner. And as soon as you click on skip ad, it will bring you over to a media fire, and you go ahead and click on download. So that is what the ad fly will do, if you don't know what that is. So once more, just so you know, the Forge, you can either download it from AdFly, as I just showed you what the AdFly is, 
or click on direct the GUI API you don't have to worry about as soon as you click on the link it will automatically download it and for custom mob spawner it will take you to an ad fly and then you have to go to a uh, media fire and the same for mo creatures so that is how to download everything you will need to install this mod successfully so when you're ready to install it go ahead and come over to start then type in percent at data percent just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming open your dot minecraft open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it do open with and select whatever archive program you're using i'm using winrar so i'm going to go ahead and open it with winrar now we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now do not close it so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up minecraft forge and you're going to want to put all of these files into your minecraft jar and the easiest way to do that would be to hold control then hit a and that will highlight everything and you want to drag it into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now open up GUI API. And again, you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar. So again, go ahead and hold Control, then hit A and drag it all into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close GUI API. Now you should have a folder called MetaInf in your Minecraft jar. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. We're done with that. Now you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a folder called mods in your .minecraft folder. So if you do not have a mods folder already, you will need to create one. And to do that, you need to simply right click in the dot minecraft folder go down to new and then select folder this will of course create a new folder and you want to rename this folder mods so just m o d s no capitalization so once you have a mods folder go ahead and open that up and then you're going to want to drag the custom mob spawner zip file into the mods folder and the mo creatures zip file into the mob folder as well go ahead and close that down and that's it you're done installing the mod so I hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next.